Today, the FDA approved a new drug to treat Alzheimer's, a disease affecting almost 7 million Americans. It was approved for patients in the early stage of the disease and should be available in a few weeks. CBS's Dr. John LaPook is here. Doctor, this sounds important and encouraging. What can you tell us? Major, denanumab is the second drug available for Alzheimer's patients with early symptoms, early symptoms. It will be sold under the brand name Kisunla, and it works by using an antibody to remove amyloid plaques that damage the brain. And it slowed cognitive decline overall by about 22% over 18 months. Now, it did not reverse the decline, but this is still exciting to me because previous trials over the years that have tried removing amyloid from the brain have not worked. And it's probably working now because more advanced brain scans can pick up the disease earlier so the drug can be given much sooner. Always a key question, side effects? Yeah, the most dangerous, the most serious side effects included temporary swelling and bleeding in the brain, which did cause three deaths, but that was less than 1% of patients. Any idea how much it will cost, Dr. LaPou? Well, it's going to be covered by Medicare Part B, but for other patients, it's going to depend on their insurance and the length of treatment. Eli Lilly estimates the list price to be about $32,000 a year. With all the details, Dr. John LaPou, thanks so very much.